In this video, we'll learn how to work with histograms in Excel. A histogram is a way of showing how many times a specific sample appears in a data set. So go ahead and open up the file exlab4 underscore coin dot csv. You can find this file on the Moodle website that's provided with the class. Inside of this file, there is a bunch of trials for flipping a coin. So there was a hundred tri trials taken and in each trial a coin was flipped 12 times and this value here is how many times heads appeared inside of that that value so here they flipped the coin 12 times heads appeared four times they flipped it 12 times again it appeared eight times so we want to represent this val all this data in a way that's easier to read let's say I want to know how many times five appeared I don't want to go through here and count how many times 5 appears. I want to be able to just easily recognize it. And to do that, we're going to use a histogram. Now, in order to use histograms, we need to make sure that the proper add-ins are installed. So let's go up to your Office button and go to Excel Options and click Add-ins on the side here. Now, if your Analysis Tool Pack is somewhere in the inactive list, instead of the active list, we need to add it by going to Excel add-ins and hit go make sure the analysis tool pack is checked and hit OK it may have to install for you for me it's already installed so I can go ahead and close out of this anyway now we can go ahead and make our histogram we'll go up to the data tab here and there should be an analysis box and inside of analysis there's data analysis let's click that there's a whole bunch of analysis we can add we're gonna choose a histogram we're going to hit OK. Now this histogram box is going to pop up and we need an input range. Our input range is going to be all of these so while our cursor is in here let's go ahead and highlight all of these boxes. And it goes down to A101 and that's our input range. Bin range is blank. We're going to output to an output range. We're going to select cell C2 and put it there. Now we're going to also select chart output so it takes this histogram and it's just going to place it directly into our chart starting at C2. We'll go ahead and hit OK and it will make this histogram graph. Now you'll notice that the bins in the histogram don't make a lot of sense. So it's saying that it, it occurred around three times, five times, around 3.8 times, zero times, around 4.6 times, 17 times. This doesn't make a lot of sense because we should be working with whole numbers. It should be either one heads per per set or two heads or three heads or four or five. It should be whole numbers. But it tried to evenly distribute these out. This doesn't make a lot of sense for us. So we're going to make another histogram, but we're going to use a chart option that is for us. So in B, let's go ahead and in B we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, make a bin range and we're going to make it from 0 to 12 since 12 is the maximum amount of times per data set and we know how to do that we're gonna add 0 here we're gonna count it by ones instead of half numbers highlight this up drag this out to 12 so these are all the values that it could be, 0 to 12. We're going to add another histogram, go to data analysis, histogram. Our input range is already the same, but we're going to have a bin range now of 0 to 12. So that's B2 to B14. And now our output range, we'll delete that, and we're going to put this instead in cell C15 so we can see it um, and compare it with the other one. Go ahead and hit OK, and our other histogram pops up. You can see the bins make much more sense now. So we see that three has occurred five times. Um, we had five heads 21 times, and we can see this nice curve here. So histograms are very useful for, for telling us um, data very quickly. Now, of course, we'll probably want to clean this up. Let's go ahead and get rid of the legend. Let's change the tar chart title, and let's just change this to 
number of heads in 12 tosses. And obviously we can use these histograms to quickly display how frequently something occurs, which is something very useful in engineering. Let's say we're going to use steel, and steel isn't always as hard as it's rated to be on the, on the site that you buy it from. And you're going to run a bunch of tests, and let's say it, fi it fails at a certain stress here, a certain stress here. We can represent all of that data in something that's very easy to use.